Okay, so I wanted to show you how easy it is to <clears throat> make a sloper. A sloper is a pattern or a two-dimensional piece that has a little bit of ease to it, just a little bit. It's more your comfort ease. The mannequin is to your body. This is my body. And if you look closely here, you can see that it's slightly tilted forward. Um, I have a little bit of a sway back, so my waist is a little higher in front than it, uh, in back than it is in front, and the mannequin captures all of that. So, the first place I want to start here is I've got the straight of the grain right here, and I'm going to put that right on my center front. I know it's straight because I ripped it. And so, usually you have to put that up a little higher because this piece has to go all the way up to the shoulder. This has to move, this one's, you want to make this part right here real flat and you want to have this go. Now, the truth of the matter is you can't make that go all the way up there just yet. I want to get my straight organized right here. There we go. Because we'll have to cut this just a little bit so that like that. There we go. Now it lays flatly across here. I want to make sure that we're all still flat. And we are. Okay. And I'm up here at my shoulder. How do I know that's my shoulder? I have a shoulder seam right there, and I put it there on purpose so that I would know right where my shoulder seam was. Emmanuel Langaro said that if it doesn't, you have no good shoulders, your dress is lost. And part of there are two reasons. One is because this is all work close to the face. And this is the part that we want to see when we, um, uh, if, if there's any messes up here, it shows because it's all real close to our face. This is also where we want to keep all our detail. So we want to make sure this fits really, really well. Um, the second reason is because everything hangs from the shoulder. If it is not hanging well from the shoulder, the rest of it isn't going to get any better, and almost always it gets worse. So the next thing we're going to need to do here is we're going to follow our arm all the way down to the bottom here. Um, I can see underneath here where my armhole is. I'm just going to cut away again so I can get a real pretty, nice, flat shape all the way across here. Just need to cut a bit more like this. doesn't have to be perfect here, but uh, just make it so that it, there we go, so that it lays flatly right across there. Now, I've got this. Now, you can see something interesting going on. You can see that we've got just a little bit of a tilt. See how it's tilting that way, that way? So we need to straighten that out. And we do that by bringing this in so that we're on again. We want to keep the side on the straight. But now, look what happens. We have all this fabric here. And this makes a very nice little part. We take up all this fabric. And what happens here, this is what's known as a side bust dart. And it's going to point to our bust point. We're just going to take this and mark our bust point right like that. And um, part of the reason why we want to mark our bust point is because all darts will point to the bust point. If it points here, it's going to be a good dart. Now, the next thing is we don't want to make the dart come all the way to the bust point because we're not in the Blonde Ambition Tour, where, you know, we have the bra that looks like this. Okay, next, we've got this beautiful line and look at that beautiful how neat that is see all this bulk has been taken in by this bus start now we're going to turn and do a little dart right here because we're kind of boxy up front now 
Now, you'll notice I'm not fitting skin tight. And the reason I'm not is because this is a, this is going to be a sloper because, and our sloper has ease in it. And so we don't want it to fit skin tight. I do, however, want it to be on the straight like this. Like just a little tiny bit right there. Looks makes that look real nice. Okay, now we take our handy dandy magic marker here, and we know that that's the straight. So we're going to mark our neckline all the way up here. And then we mark our shoulder line, which comes down like this. And we're going to mark our armhole. Now these will be seams, and that means that. I'll add seam allowance to this. Now let's mark our darts here. Just the way we want them on both sides. Like this. The next thing I want to mark is the waist, which is right here. And you can already see how much, see how much higher my waist is over here on the side because of my sway back. Okay, now let's look and see what we have here. We'll roll our pins out. The purpose of a sloper is so that you have a guide. So that when you get ready to design a pattern, you put the sloper underneath and it acts as your guide. And here is your guide. And that's my sloper right here. Has everything all marked right where I need it. And it's that easy to do. Now, I did this on my mannequin, but you can do this on yourself, too. And when you do this, this is muslin, you know, that horrible, terrible thing you've heard about. But what makes it so nice is you can draw all over this, make notes. You can add pieces to it. You can tear off another piece and cut it over again. That's the whole idea about a muslin. 